What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Masculine Energy. It's been a while since we covered some Chris Canwell. I miss uh, I missed reacting to his videos, so I have it loaded up here. Let's go back all the way to the beginning. And um, so, if you guys want any coaching or anything like that, would be down in the description box below. This is a short video too, so um, yeah, let's go. Hey, so in this video, I want to talk about how to develop masculine energy to attract women. The more masculine energy you have, the more attractive you become to women because that is feminine energy. Masculine energy attracts feminine energy. So anytime you exhibit masculine energy, you're going to get more attraction, more respect, and more attention from women. In our society, they're trying to make men more like women and women more like men. Now, there's a whole, I have a whole channel on this. It's in the, it's in the pinned comments down below you'll see it and um i cover a lot of videos talking about this but this is why women today are having such a hard time finding very masculine men because they have basically two groups one is very alpha you know giga chad guys chad's tyrone's very uh, very strong masculine guys who don't want to be with just one woman because they have the pick of the litter. They can be with as many women as they can, as they want to. And all of the girls are filtering on the apps for these guys. 90% of hinge Tinder and Bumble um, filters from women looking for men are done by height. So six feet, right? Women are all looking for the same types of guys. So those guys can pick as pick, you know, they can pick whatever they want. Okay. And then there are the other group of guys who are, you know, feminine, easy to, you know, th there's just these two extremes being created in our society, in our society today, right? They're, you know, nice guys. They're too, they're easy to control and uh, women can basically mold these guys, right? And these guys are the pushovers that I, you know, talk about in my videos a lot. I coach a lot of them too. They start out that way. And then what I do is I bring them down the road of red pill. Um, not with the, pe not with the pessimism of it. I'm more white pilled than anything. I see the truth for what it is, but I'm optimistic about it because we can, I think we can make a change and for, you know, forge, forge our own destiny, so to speak. Okay. The men who lean into their feminine energy, especially common nowadays with the inverted society that we have, where women are telling men to act more feminine, to be gender neutral, to change their pronouns. All that virtue signaling nonsense, it's not going to change biology. It's not going to change attraction. If you're a man and you start calling yourself they or them or whatever it is, you are taking away your masculinity. You're not going to be seen as attractive to somebody who embraces masculinity. All those men who have a lot of female friends, they don't have male friends, they love to talk to women. They are into gender issues, female rights, all that kind of nonsense. If you do that, you're crossing the line from masculine into feminine energy. You're not going to be seen as attractive, just as when your behavior starts to become too feminine, right? You start to want to talk about commitment. You're pushing the relationship forward. All of that stuff, it's feminine energy. Feminine energy is all about commitment. It's all about relationships. It's all about bonding the opposite of masculine energy. Masculine energy is all about freedom, drive, purpose, ambition. So the more you lean into your masculine energy, the more attraction you generate. The more I've done this, and guys, the more I've done this, just personally speaking, the more success I've seen in my life when I'm successful as a guy, right? The more I focus on my businesses, my media company, my YouTube channels, right? The more that... I feel confident in myself because I'm making more money. I'm focused. Uh, I'm driven, right? These, these are things women like about men, okay? Now, a lot of you guys are dealing with shitty women too. Women who have no idea what the fuck they're looking for, right? They think that they know, right? But they don't know shit <laughs> about what they're truly looking for in a man, okay? A lot of women, like if you go check out It's Complicated, the, the channel, I react to that channel a lot in my uh, on my other channel, my Red Pill channel. You're going to see that um, he asked questions in, in, in public to women. 
And you can see that a lot of women have no idea what the fuck they're doing. They have no idea what to believe, what they're thinking, what to think. They just, they're, they're echo, you know, one person will say something and one will be like, yeah, 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 that, that, yeah, yeah, that. And then another woman will say, oh yeah, 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 that too. Right. They don't have their own thoughts about like, you know, they haven't developed their own thoughts about what they think that they should be, you know, doing and what they should be looking for in men. Right. So they, they tend to follow what's going on. And men are just like, I don't know. I don't know what to be anymore. Because men will go to women to, to, this is what men do normally. Like, this is what I did back in the day. Men do this. They go to women and say, what is it that women are looking for? What do I need to do? Okay. And instead of going to other men, because there's a very big um, male leadership gap going on right now, because men can't be men anymore because they get ridiculed for doing it. So channels, Channels get taken out and silenced off of YouTube, Andrew Tate, right? And even him, he is not, I don't even agree with everything Andrew Tate says, but I'm down with a lot of what he does say. And the fact that that shit is silenced now, you can see the agenda for what it is, right? They're saying he's dangerous. That is what I'm saying. So they're silencing that, okay? And he's not even a perfect example, in my opinion, of, of, of what a guy can be, but that's just because we have different beliefs. He has his and I have mine. And that's, the, that's okay, but you should be able to see that, okay? Now, I'm not going to rant in this video, but that's what's happening today. And women have no idea what they're looking for in men because the women that are literally um, looking for, they're like, oh, I don't like people like Andrew Tate, for example. Women will say this in, in, in interviews and in public, but they're but they're dating Andrew Tates. There's a video that I'm, I'm, I reacted to. I downloaded it. I see a lot of hate towards Andrew Tate on social media. Mm -hmm. um, I, I follow him on TikTok because I think you know, he's funny to listen to mm -hmm. and, yeah. you know, but the funny thing is the women, a lot of the women who complain about Andrew Tate are dating Andrew Tate's. That's their list. What's the cognitive disconnect there that they're dating the guy that they I, hate on? What do you mean? Yeah, no, it's like the guys that they're dating are like Andrew Tate. They're, they're a little bit, you know, rough. They're bad boy. They're you macho. Know, they're, they're, macho tough, yeah. they're tough dudes. But then they hate on him. But you're dating the exact same thing. So I think for, for dudes, it's very hard to understand a woman because on one hand, a woman says, I want somebody that takes care of me, that is, you know, in touch with his feminine side, does this and that and blah 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 but then it doesn't make their pussy wet at all mm. but a bad guy that does shit that you okay. don't want to have done to you that makes their pussy wet those women are literally dating the andrew tates okay they're like oh i, I don't like him he's he's a misogynist he's this and that but they're they're dating the giga chats right so anyway i'll try and put it into this video Right, the further you get away from your feminine energy, the more attraction you will generate. So little things like working out, going to the gym, mm -hmm. pursuing a business, focusing on your career, education, those things which are going to drive you forward, any kind of ambition that you exhibit is going to get you more into a masculine frame as opposed to a feminine frame. Anytime you focus on relationships, spending all your time with your girlfriend, hanging out with women, not wanting to be around men, all of those things will put you into feminine energy. I used to do that. I used to want to hang out with girls just as friends. It's fucking pathetic. Okay. Guys think that, and here's, here's the mindset. You think, oh, I'm around all these girls. So I must, I'm going to pick up a thing or two. I'm going to learn some shit. Nope. <laughs> Being around other men teaches you that shit. Okay. Being around other men will teach you, oh, this is what you should be looking for in a woman. This is what you should be, you know what I mean? And and of course, like, there's going to be certain values that might conflict. But like, like Andrew Tate and myself, for example, right? I don't mind being with one girl. He wants to be with multiple girls. That's fucking fine. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Then that's where those things will conflict. But Andrew Tate can also teach me a whole bunch of shit about business, about boxing and fighting, right? There's a whole bunch of shit that people can learn from each other. Yeah. And that's not going to make you attractive. It might make you a good friend to a woman, but it's not going to make you desirable. So if you want to know more about building, maintaining, and creating attraction, I highly recommend you get a copy of my book, Atomic Attraction. It has over 120, case stu 120 scientific studies and over 40 case studies, which will show you how to build attraction the right way. And don't forget, I do Skype, phone, and email consultations. You can book a consultation with me on my website, developattraction.com. So... Um, you guys should definitely check out my other channel where I'm going to be talking more about that stuff and more about um, the way our society is going and the way, our, the way it is. It will be again in the pinned comments down below. I don't think the description box link is working, so check the pinned comments. 
Um, but guys, I'm going to try to throw in that little um, um, video that I saw. It was on valuetainment. But uh, I'll show it at the end of this for you. Okay? Done.